Quitting your job is a big deal. It was a big deal for me. It's a big deal for anyone in any career path. And focusing mental health is just as important as the decision on whether or not you should quit your job, take a leave of absence, start that school program one year later, or honestly make any change in your life because you are not feeling happy. In this video, I'm gonna walk through how I knew that for me as a corporate attorney, it was time for me to move on and quit my job to focus on mental health. We're also gonna be talking about the various ways that you can analyze your own situation and think about whether or not it is time for you to move on from whatever it is you are doing, be it a job, a degree, a program, who your therapist is, no matter what, and whether or not it means that mental health is ready to take the front seat and be prioritized in your life. I think that when many people think about quitting their job and when they see my story about someone who quits their job as a corporate lawyer to focus on mental health, we often think that there's a single moment where everything crystallizes for us and we realize this is it. This is the moment I realize I need to quit. I've had enough. It's done. Well, the first thing I want to make very clear is that in my story, there was not one single moment where I realized this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life and I need to quit and mental health needs to take the front seat. It was not a singular moment. It was a six month process of slowly ideating about the idea of maybe I should quit and then flirting with other job opportunities, eventually applying to other jobs and getting rejected, going part time at my law firm, seeing a therapist, doing a lot of different things to come to the ultimate decision and conclusion that this is not going to work. But to be very clear, there wasn't a single moment where someone yelled at me and said, Julian, you suck. And I'm like, I'm done. I'm flipping the table. I'm leaving. <laughs> for me, it was much more methodical, much more slow moving. And I think for folks out there, you should think about how these decisions are not going to be made with the flip of a switch. It's going to take a lot of time to process a major decision like quitting your job to focus on mental health. And honestly, in general, for anything mental health related, I think the process takes a long time simply because of how deeply the subject has been stigmatized. The first thing that I noticed in my journey that gave me red flags about the job that I was in was that for the first time in my life, I felt like I wasn't looking forward to the future anymore. I looked at every week that went by and time was going by in my life, but I wasn't getting excited about what was coming next any longer. I was purely existing and I wasn't super happy the time that I was existing. But it wasn't just the future that I wasn't excited about any longer. During the pandemic, I became completely miserable at my job. Like many lawyers and service professionals, we were very privileged in that we were working at home and we weren't on the front lines of the pandemic, like the folks in medicine or service industry workers. At the same time, working at home all the time completely blended home and work and destroyed my mental health. I started using marijuana multiple times a week to numb myself from the reality that I was in. My exercising fell by the wayside. I began ordering takeout a lot more often than cooking for myself. My sleep schedule became all over the place and incredibly inconsistent. And the stress from my job continued to compound and compound and compound and did not give me any breathing room to recharge. It got to a point where I felt so miserable and so lost and I had no idea what to do next that I decided for the first time, really, I was going to take mental health completely seriously in the sense that I was going to walk into the hospital system and the medical system, tell them everything as open as I can be and accept whatever came my way. In December of 2020, I was diagnosed with mild depression and severe anxiety. And as soon as I got those diagnoses, I realized how seriously this battle was going to be for me. So I began focusing on mental health and the next few months go by and things are okay. And I'm slowly improving on the mental health side. I'm seeing a therapist, I'm journaling, I'm deep breathing. The anxiety is slowly, ever so slowly becoming manageable and under control. However, the job had not slowed down. The energy from the job had remained stressful. The pressure from the job had remained stressful and I still wasn't energized and excited about getting on my laptop and doing work each day. I did what I could to make it work. I went part-time at my law firm. I prioritized my mental health. I got more strict with boundary setting with the job, but that feeling of not being satisfied and not being excited and not being energized, it never changed when I walked into my virtual office every day to do my work. I'm probably the most risk averse person I know. And yet for the first time, the idea of maybe you should quit Julian, maybe that's an option. Just the fact that I considered it an option was the first hurdle for me. But then the voices got louder and louder. Maybe you should look for another job. Maybe you should even apply to another job. I applied to a couple of jobs, I was rejected. They didn't work out, that was fine. But eventually that voice just kept yelling at me in my head. Quitting is probably the only thing 
that's going to change the situation you're in right now and take your life on a different path than the one you're on. I was lucky in that in my journey, my mental health had improved slowly but surely enough to where I was finally able to accept it wasn't just mental health that was making me miserable. It wasn't just the pandemic that was making me miserable. Maybe it was a mix of all of these things, but ultimately the conclusion was the same for me in that the job was the thing that was sapping me of energy. The job was the thing that was making me dread waking up every morning. The job was the thing that was making me miserable. Once I realized that it was only me that was going to be able to make the change that I needed to change the way that I was feeling, nobody was going to do it for me, not my employer, not my parents, not my fiance, nobody. And once I knew that it was the job that was standing in my way, I knew what I had to do. So months before I quit, I made the decision, in a couple of months, I will leave this job. And I had a rough timeline planned out. And I can tell you that the moment that I accepted that reality that I was going to leave that job, the entire world got a lot brighter. There are always going to be a lot of things at play when you think about making a major decision like quitting your job or quitting an academic program or taking your career in a different direction. And when you involve mental health, the calculus changes even more because mental health is very stigmatized. Mental health is not simple. Mental health is a lot of work, and of course mental health is very complicated. But all of that said, the thing that I ended up focusing on and that led me to quit my job, and I think the thing that many people need to think about, is the path that you are on sustainable for you. No matter what path it is, if you look into your future, do you see this path changing? Do you see the way that you feel changing? Is there anything about it that's going to change or is it going to stay the same? Because if it's going to stay the same, you can predict exactly how you're gonna feel three months from now, six months from now, a year from now. But if you decide to make a change, and if you think about the unknown, it's in that space that you can control where it is that you go next and how you can control the way that you feel in the future. It's an incredibly high position of privilege to be able to quit a job outright and focus on mental health, and that should not be understated. For millions of people out there, that's not an option because food, shelter, necessities, of course these things cost money, and a job is the way to bring that money in. So what I would also say is to the extent you can try to challenge yourself to work on mental health while being in the job that you are in, if you can't leave, challenge yourself to make those changes. Think creatively about ways that you can leverage your employer's resources. You could see a therapist, you could start getting onto a better sleep schedule, reduce alcohol and marijuana consumption, whatever it is, it's different for every person. But the important thing is that you at least try to challenge yourself to improve your mental health while in the context of your job. Me, I went part-time, I got a therapist, I went through my medical system. I did everything that I could while staying at the job to really see, can I make this work? Don't forget that progress is not straight. When I began my mental health journey, two months in was the first time in my life that thoughts of self-harm entered my mind intrusively. And I was caught completely off guard because of course, when you start taking mental health more seriously, wouldn't you expect everything to always get better? Mental health is very complex and that's not always the case. So no matter where you are on your journey, if you're just starting, if you're in it, please also keep in mind that it's not always going to be a straight journey to the top. There's going to be bumps, there's going to be inconsistencies, but the important thing is to stay focused, stay grounded, and keep practicing the tools at your disposal to focus on your mental health. It's very easy to feel like we are judging ourselves when we make a decision as monumental as taking time off for mental health or focusing on mental health. But that self-judgment is the thing that holds many of us back. If you think about making this decision for yourself, or for yourself down the line if you remember this video. Really think about what is holding you back from taking that leap of faith. Is it the expectations of others around you or is it the expectations of yourself? You may be surprised by the answer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have just a couple of seconds, listen, I would truly appreciate it as a content creator if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel, if you could like the video, if you could leave a comment just showing some love. Every little thing helps. So if you have a minute, I would truly appreciate it. Much love as always. Thank you.